All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be analyzing Kento Momota's mindset during the semifinals at the World Championships. Right away, we see Kento Momota entering with a very focused mindset. He's not even smiling at the crowd, which could mean that he might be nervous or that he just wants to put his complete attention to the game. He does his usual warm-up, moving around the court. This is very important for the mental game because by doing the habits that you usually do, you tell yourself that this isn't anything new. You've done this before. Right now you can see that he's just relaxing getting into the game, so he's not adding pressure. On the other hand, Cypernis is taking over the rally by trying to add as much pressure as possible. He keeps playing very calmly, almost as if he's trying to keep his nerves under control, but as you can see, he makes an unforced error. This might suggest that that's the reason why he's very calm. He just wants to focus on the game and zone out everything else. Again, he's not doing anything special. He keeps playing like he usually does. This will make a consistent state of mind. Even though Cyperneath is on the lead, Kento is just focusing on control. He just wants to rally. Now that his mindset is under control, he becomes more comfortable smashing. The score is 5-5 now, so just by trying to stay mentally consistent in a relaxed state of mind, he's able to catch up. But in this rally, we see that he might have rushed his smash trying to get on the lead. The score stays pretty much even all the way up until after the interval. We see Kento still being calm, but now this time he doesn't rush his smash. He attacks exactly when the right opportunity opens up. These following rallies, he's becoming more aggressive. He just needed to focus on controlling himself more. Now with this rally, we can tell that Kento is starting to rush his smashes. And since Cyperneath has good defense and positioning, he's able to counter Kento's smashes. With the following rally though, Kento doesn't rush. Instead, he sets up perfectly, then delivers the smash. Unfortunately for Cyperneath, after the interval, he slowly loses his mental game, making a lot of unforced errors. Kento stays with the mentality that he developed from the beginning. And this is his advantage, his consistent state of mind, which allows him to leave Cyberneath behind. So that's why Kento won the first game. He kept himself under control. And at the same time, he took advantage of Cyperneath's unforced errors. Second game is basically a reflection of the first. Kento is being relaxed while Cyprinus is adding pressure.
Cyper needs to continue being aggressive. But now the difference between Kento's current attacking style and Pernit's attacking style is that Kento is relaxed while he attacks. Pernit was attacking so much because he knows that he needs to win this game, so it could have been a rushed attacking style. Now because of this, Kento gets way ahead early in the game. Just like in the first game, Cypernese wasn't able to keep himself under control, making a lot of unforced errors. And this was basically how Kento Momota was able to win. So just by having and maintaining a consistent relaxed state of mind, he was able to have a tremendous advantage. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to see more videos like this. I will also be sharing my journey to become a pro player. See you in the next video.